Welcome to Riverbend Talon on WBGZ. Brought to you by the Halpin Music Company. Another Riverbend Talon on a Thursday night. Brought to you by the Halpin Music Company and by Mr. Matt Van Voorst of the Stubblefield Macias Insurance Town <laughs> Club. Uh, uh, whatever else he yeah. decides to uh, promote uh, as we go along here uh, He's uh, turning his advertising over to his friends a lot. But yeah, Matt Van Voorst uh, has been with us for quite some time, as well as uh, Halpin Music Company. And we thank them for uh, supporting local musicians and allowing us to uh, come on the air every Thursday night and say, the Sea Shanty Sing Along is underway <laughs> down at Morrison's Irish Pub until 9 uh, o'clock tonight. People also, that are already uh, drunk on Irish whiskey down there. I guarantee it. We got a relative of one of our guests playing up at George's Local Brew already underway in Jerseyville, Cash Getting. Oh. I learned how to say it tonight. Getting. Yeah, because uh, we got Mr. John Getting, the upright bass player for Outlaw Opry. And we'll be uh, talking to Outlaw Opry in just a second as I wrap up Thursday night real quick. The scruffy-looking Nerf Herder is underway. <laughs> He'll be going till 9 o'clock at Big Daddy's in Edwardsville. Mo Pleasure underway already and uh, going until 9 o'clock at Patrick's in Granite City. Of course, Experience Live Music Row underway down there in Belleville. And then later this evening, 6.30, Trivia Night down at the Conservatory. The Truckers from 7 to 11 at Fast Eddie's. Uh, open Mic at Raging Cajun starts at 9 o'clock. And let's see, the Double Wide Duo. 7 to 11 at the Foundry Public House in Edwardsville. Danny Callagher, Callagher uh, 7 to 11 at Doyce Village Inn and Pontoon Beach. And uh, that wraps up a Thursday night underway as far as what I was able to find today. That's a, that's a pretty decent Thursday for our sleepy little river area. And well, as we kind of mentioned, our guest tonight, the Outlaw Opry. And we've uh, mentioned Steve Mellis many times, Steve and Jackie many times. And uh, that all ties into the Outlaw Opry and Pigpen. Let's introduce them. All right. Well, we're going to start just to my right. Mr. Bo, how you doing this evening, Bo? Good to be here. And uh, what's your position? You play third base on this band? What do you? <laughs> yep. Uh, I play a dobro. It's kind of a steel guitar. It's a yeah. slide. It's acoustic, and we plug it in and uh, six string instrument there. The old steel dobro. Steel. I, oh, mine yeah. is wooden, but yeah. Wooden. It's, okay. It's there same you go. Thing. Yeah. 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 Nice. Dobro. Smith. Yep. <laughs> right? No bro. No bro. That's isn't it, Bo? Yeah, that's uh, that's kind of funny because uh, every time you say Dobro, everybody is what? What? Um, so I get this T-shirt that says Dobro, D-O-U-G-H dash bro, and it's got the Pillsbury Doughboy <laughs> on the front of it holding Dobro. So, oh, nice. Yeah. <laughs> That's my guy to do. Uh, right next to uh, Mr. Bo, we got John. How you doing, John? Uh, pretty good, pal. How you doing? I'm, I'm having a great night. It's uh, been a beautiful day today after those sure. couple of cold, cold days. It was sure nice has. to see a little sunshine. Sure so, uh, and you, sir, how? I what play, is your part here? I play the uh, upright bass. Oh, we already said that. Yeah, I, you already let the, the cat out of yeah. the bag. I'm trying to, I'm yeah. bringing up old stuff. That's because I had to bring up cash. Yeah. That's right, and thank you for that. You yeah. Know, so. There you go. And, yeah, and he's doing he, pretty good. You told me he's 16 years old, right? Uh, it turned 16 on Tuesday. So. Oh, he'll be on The Voice next year, yeah. taking on Ruby Lee. Did you see she yeah. uh, won her challenge I this did. Week? I, I heard about that, so yeah. good for little yeah. Ruby Lee out there. And these guys have played a lot of the same venues as Ruby Lee. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Ruby's, Ruby's played with me at the Hog Pit Open Mic Night there a few yeah. times. Yeah, we've, nice. missed, we've missed the voice so far, but uh, you know. <laughs> I think we missed our calling, John. We might have. Now Before she... we move on from John, though, guys, i got to say, he's got a nickname in the band. Uh -oh. Okay. This we gotta... is the Tall Handsome Cowboy, <laughs> Mr. John Getty. Yeah. Nothing like being short and fat and ugly. <laughs> You got the face for radio, John. Yeah. I, well, you know, I mean, I, I, I was, when I first saw the seating arrangement, when I walked in, I was like, I, if he was next to me, I could probably, like, touch his knee under the table. But it, he looks like I could shit myself. Yeah. I'm he, on a short chair. You know? Outlaw Opry over here. So, yeah. there, you, 
you guys are outlaws, and you know, as a guy who lives on the skirts of society. Now that's <laughs> that's Steve Mellis chiming in there, uh, acting like he's running things. But the truth is, Jackie is in charge here. This <laughs> is the absolute truth. Okay, yes. so so Jackie <laughs> Mellis. No. 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 no, no, no. Oh, I, I'm sorry, no. I'm Steve Mellis. I, 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 he just said Mellis, and it was in my brain. I'm I'm so sorry. Yeah, I'm Jackie. Yeah, uh, I'm sorry, ja- Jackie. Uh, yeah. uh, what what do you do in this? Are you just eye candy? Oh my! Most people. <laughs> <laughs> are you just eye candy? No, and, okay. I just pl- I play the guitar a little bit and sing. Awesome. Okay, yeah. so 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 you. She's got it all. She plays music. She <laughs> sings and she hold on. Can, can you're a triple threat. Can you dance? She can play the upright bass also. <laughs> <laughs> Play the bass I, instead of the I was already picturing her <laughs> taking the upright bass yeah, and throwing it behind her neck over oh, her yeah. shoulders and dancing a little jig while yeah. she played it. Oh, More Lord. than one. It'll get you going. It's enough to spur a fella on. <laughs> well, I, I'm, I'm a little spurred right now. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And uh, down at the very end, the actual Mellis. Steve, yeah. <laughs> Steve Mellis. How you doing, buddy? I'm doing great, Big Ben, myself. I, I doing good after saying your your name so many uh, for so many years. I finally got a face because this isn't what I pictured. I had you, you know, with uh, uh, braids like Willie. No, I, I used to until it all <laughs> fell out. I'm, I'm bald now, unfortunately. But uh, years of life will do that to you. But yeah. interestingly enough, you said Jackie Mellis earlier. That's been I a, did. I that's did. been a part of our show now for almost 20 years. People have always thought we were married, oh. and. Uh, We'll, we'll play with that on stage until it's not time to play with it anymore. And then it's uh, kind of a big laughy, laughy, ha ha. It doesn't work that way. I, I, I'm out of her league. Don't, don't get me wrong. Oh. I play in a band with my wife where she uh, I taught her to thump a little bass. And she's actually taken, uh, been taking lessons and, and she's better than I am now for sure. Uh, but but I also taught my friend Jennifer how to you know tap out a little 2-4 beat. And, and she's our drummer. And... We all hang out so much, people will think that Jennifer's my wife often. And my wife will often introduce her. Well, I'm his actual wife, but this is who everyone thinks. Because yeah. because when you're sitting, like, I'm sure you two are seen together often yeah. doing things. She's so been coined the work wife. Yeah. The work wife. That's kind of, yep. There By my go. wife and my ex-wife. <laughs> By all of my ex-wives. <laughs> Can't be an outlaw unless you do outlaw stuff. Well, I, I, you know, I'm going to give you a piece of advice. Ex-girlfriends are cheaper than ex-wives. That's all I got to say on it. <laughs> I need uh, that information. <laughs> I don't, yeah, I, so uh, one of the reasons you guys are in tonight is talk about uh, talk about a festival going on this weekend. And Big Pen loves the festivals. I, I love do. the festival. And this one, the first festival... <laughs> The first country music festival in Grafton. So that's pretty exciting. And man, a long list of uh, what's going to be happening this weekend. And we'll, we'll get into some of that. But uh, tell us what you know about this uh, festival. Well, uh, this is actually the first country music festival in Grafton. Maybe the first actual music festival that I'm aware of in Grafton. But uh, all the local venues have kind of gotten together and scheduled events around each other. And there is a lot of great talent in town this weekend. Pretty much every venue in town has bands Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, pretty much starting at about noon on Saturday. I know there's bands tomorrow night, but noon on Saturday through all day Sunday. Well, it sounds like a normal weekend in Grafton, then. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Isn't that what happens pretty much every weekend? Pretty much every weekend. There's a lot of great local talent that runs through Grafton. Not just the country guys, but uh, this is our our weekend to shine, I guess. Yeah, yeah. So it's kind of cool, though, to get everybody together on one event and uh, market it as one thing, and that's what's kind of going on this weekend. But I guess... There's not always just country up there in Grafton, but this weekend, a lot of country music. Absolutely. There is uh, there is a lot of great bands. you got uh, bands like The Intrusion, young bands that right. are rock bands, uh, great young local talent. Uh, there's great country bands. There's uh, bands like Left Handed Cowboy playing at uh, Aries Winery tomorrow. All right. Uh, a buddy of mine, Tom Hendricks, plays drums for him, and uh, great band. I've known all these guys and got to meet them all through the years, and uh, it's great to see... All that's going on now. Tanglefoot, they're playing. Yeah, Tanglefoot's yeah. playing at the loading dock, and they're um, buddies. Yeah. yeah, they're they're southern rocky country, so okay. it's uh, it's not just straight uh, Hank Williams country. That it's, used uh, to be the name of Festus, Missouri. Uh, Tanglefoot. That oh, was really? The name of the town, yeah. Before it was called Festus. Yeah. I don't know why. I, I shout out weird facts. <laughs> hey, that is, that is fantastic. <laughs> I read Snapple caps a lot. So. <laughs> 
Ooh, a tiger can carry two times its weight up a tree. <laughs> now, Something not, Jackie. <laughs> not only uh, musicians performing this weekend, but like on Friday night, they get the uh, best cowboy hat competition at 9 o'clock at the uh, pub. And then on Saturday, you got Eaton to the Oldies and Bobby G's from 9 to 1 and Raging Rivers sponsoring the uh, Mr. and Mrs. Grafton uh, going on as well. And then I think there's a, a Best Boots competition following you guys. On uh, Saturday, uh, you guys play in the Grafton Pub from 7 to 11. Yes, sir. And you guys play the Grafton Pub quite a bit. From what I see. At least that, is, that is one of our favorite, uh, favorite hometown venues. I play there, yeah. what, once a month at least? Once a month as a band, at least several others as the duo of just Steve and Jackie. <laughs> right. Or Jackie and Steve, however we'd like to uh, roll that off your tongue. Okay. I'd even like to put a little uh, in for Cash. He's played there before. Oh, yeah. absolutely. You know, yeah. Mary Joe's had him playing on the Tuesdays. Some great live local venues there. Yeah, and they uh, they keep it rolling. Uh, Wednesday, I think was Tuesday night, they start Taco with the Tuesday. Taco Tuesday, yes. and then they go all the way through Sunday normally. Great food right? down there, too. Really good food. And that is, you know, I, I was really surprised when she started uh, Taco Tuesdays and had live music because nowhere else in town would commit to having live music on a weeknight. Yeah. And she did, and it is the it's the staple of a town on Tuesday night. Yep. Yeah. If you're if you're not doing anything, that's where you're at. <laughs> and there is some great music that rolls through there as well. And of course, like you mentioned a little bit, uh, Ruby Lee performed at your open mic at the uh, Hog Pit that yeah, you used to do she's on been Friday down there nights. several times. And you and, had that for quite some time uh, on a Friday night, right? Yeah, it was about, uh, it was probably two years running. Yeah. Absolutely. And then... The thing happened that everyone wants to forget about, probably. Yeah. Marriage. No, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, my bad. We're, we're talking about uh, the yeah. C word. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we're trying not to uh, bring that back so we don't mention it. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So uh, what we used to look forward to uh, mentioning that there was something that happened on Friday night in Grafton because, you know, it gets cold up there in the wintertime and it, things it, slow down a bit. Well, and I, I will uh, I will thank the good Lord above because uh, we got canceled twice last weekend because of the cold weather. And uh, this weekend looks like it's going to be beautiful outside. So I'm glad to get this festival in and uh, hopefully it's, it's packed with people and we have a great time. Yeah, and I'm sure everybody's still in a festive mood. I mean, you know, today's Day of the Dead. Absolutely. So that's a good reason to celebrate. One greeted me in the bathroom here at the studio. Yeah, it's not surprising. <laughs> oh, that was just me. I think it was. <laughs> <laughs> Might have been. There, there was just a fog after you. <laughs> <laughs> just me walking through a haze of smoke. <laughs> row, row, <Reggie. laughs> uh, yeah, Looking forward to, uh, this weekend to the uh, Grafton Country Music Festival. First ever. So, uh, yeah. No, girl. Uh -huh. Now, I looked through the list, and uh, there was one Grafton native that I did not see on the list, and I was very surprised. He must have been busy because Billy Hurst. I would think he would be a part of the Country Music Festival. But for, he... for Grafton, since Grafton is Billy Hurst's hometown, right? Uh, Billy and I go way back uh, through family, uh, kind of cousins distantly, but... Uh, I would say Billy is probably busy because, yeah. you know, Billy's running Riverbend Records now and uh, great little record shop if you guys get a chance to check it out. He's got a little bit of everything in there. Um, I haven't heard Billy sing too much here lately, but I know he was uh, with Charlie Brown and yeah. Tommy Carlos yeah, here yeah. a while back supporting a, uh, a new album release. So right, yeah. it was good to see uh, Billy grab a guitar and kind of get out there again i i didn't get a chance to see the show personally but uh i am sad as well that billy's not in attendance for the grafton right he should be the king of grafton live music well he's no. probably taking photographs somewhere that uh, he's probably you know absolutely he's, yeah, he's got to put the camera down and pick the guitar up a little he's, more he's got that gig with the cardinals now yeah, the cardinals yeah, yeah, the blues yeah i mean he's he's always out there i mean that's uh what what a career path you you love sports <laughs> you figure out how to take pictures and get paid for it my my hat's yeah. off to mr hurst let me absolutely. tell you absolutely so a question popped in my head because you've been around Grafton a long time now. When he released that uh, album, Small Town Pool, yes, sir. There was a small town pool that helped him write a lot of those songs that I've lost track of. It went by the name of Banjo. Do you remember Banjo? I I know the name. 
and I wish I could tell you that I knew him personally, but I don't write off yeah. right off a hand. Just kind of curious. But uh, yeah. I, I actually have a signed copy of the Small Town Fool album. Okay, yeah. So. <laughs> now, he was on one of those uh, voice uh, competitions. I had drawn a blank. I think the one with Ed McMahon, wasn't it? Uh, uh, Star Search. Star Search? Yeah, he was a star. Yeah. And, he, and he was a little Elvis impersonator Oh, as a absolutely. Kid. I saw yeah. the videos. His, uh, <laughs> his mother, Joyce Hurst, she's, she's long, long past, but she was one of the most fantastic women I ever had the uh, pleasure of knowing. And she supported Billy in his musical career from the time he ever showed any interest. And that's where I think Little Elvis was born and yeah. so forth and so on. But yes, I saw the videos of <laughs> well, Elvis Hurst. When, when we had him on the show and he talked about, uh, you know, doing the Elvis impersonations as like a little kid. Like, oh, I mean, like a little kid. And then, and then getting on Star Search, you knew he had to have parents or grandparents or somebody helping, you know, because... A five-year-old doesn't just get an Elvis impersonation <laughs> without, like, Joe Jackson behind him. Absolutely. Oh, sing, Michael! <laughs> now tell us about Outlaw Opry. How did this whole thing start, and how long you guys have been together? Well, we've been together since 2009. Okay. Um, well, Longer than some marriages, you know. <laughs> true. I had one go by the wayside in that time. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, <laughs> um, another sad country song. I yeah, <laughs> um, it's like that. I know that I know how I showed up in the band, but Steve and John were in the band before me. Okay, and there was two other guys in it, and I was asked to come and come to a practice in John's garage. And I showed up, and he didn't ask me to leave, so okay. <laughs> I just kept showing up, and here I am. <laughs> still here, still here. So. Yeah. Now, was it Outlaw Opry at that time already? It was. Or, okay. Yeah. Yep. That's been the name since the get-go. Yep. So that means they've been around longer than 2009. It's just. I think they had a gig maybe earlier in the year in Not 2009. Much, you know, I think 2009 early in. Okay. In the year, I didn't come on until like mid-year and we had our first gig in october of 2009 all right now i'm gonna dig deep what was the first song you sang with them oh <laughs> you mean at practice at practice yeah oh it Never. was probably connie smith once she a day pretty little i don't think it was that we played that song a lot it's fantastic <laughs> i need to reiterate that song. i think it was connie smith once a day okay i was into that song i'm still in it's, it's always an interesting moment the first time you jam with a band and trying to figure out, you know, what can we do? Yeah. Because everyone's kind of strange to each other. and uh, yeah. There's an interesting story to that, actually. Well, let's bring it on. We're here so, for an interesting story. Uh, <laughs> so myself, I'm uh, I'm at work one day, and the, the tall, handsome cowboy, Mr. John Gettin, comes walking wow. in, and he said, Hey, I hear you play guitar. And I said, Yeah, yeah, I do. And he handed me his business card, and he said, Why don't you come out and jam sometime? And I said, okay, I'll uh, I'll look you up. A couple nights go by, and I was getting kind of bored, you know, nothing going on. So I called him, and he said, yeah, we're getting ready to jam here in just a little bit. I said, okay, this would be great. So I drive out to John's house, and we all plug everything into the PA system, and we're all kind of standing there staring at each other. And I said, okay, who's going to sing? And every one of them is like, Whoop! you just hear the air suck out of the room. Like, oh, we ain't doing that. And I... I I'm not a singer, never claimed to be a singer. I'm just the one that doesn't shut up. So uh, I said, okay, I will. Uh, I guess I'll sing a song. And uh, we sang Folsom Prison Blues from Johnny Cash. Nice. And, and after that song, they said, man, we can be booked every weekend somewhere. And I, I thought, whoa, <laughs> let's, uh, let's hold, uh, hold on here, boys. And uh, sure enough, within about two weeks, we were booked at uh, BB's in Fielden. But it wasn't BB's then. It was... Uh, do you remember what the name of that no, was? I don't remember now. No. Um... Tom and Phyllis Decker had that place at that time. No, it was no, the that guy. was uh, the other guy. Yeah. Uh, I don't remember what his name was either. I can't think of it, but uh, yeah. So I, I never really sang a song before that day, and John Getton just pried it right out of me. Okay. So now you see where his grandson's kind of getting a little spurring. Oh, yeah. Mr. Cash Getton, he's live at uh, what George's local brew this evening. Yeah, right till nine. But one of the original members. Is Jackie's talking about was my son, Cash's dad. So. Okay, but then he had a lot of several kids and uh, didn't have time for it all. So a litter, kind of a if, if you will. Matt Reynolds was the other one. Yeah, so. yeah. So when I got there, it was it was John Getton on bass, and then there was 
four people on guitars. <laughs> so <laughs> we, we were overwhelmed with guitars, but we made it work. We did, we did a few gigs with five of us. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. You played the mandolin for a while, and yeah. it sounded amazing. Wish you get that back out of the closet. It's just an upside down bass, right? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> and I must say, he also a little get, easier to carry. <laughs> he also gave me a, a, one of his personal uh, business cards, and I still have it. Oh, he probably oh, doesn't know that, but I still oh, have it. It's on the side that. of my refrigerator. He was big with the business cards. Yeah. <laughs> Now, John, did you play in uh, bands before? Uh, no, no. No. So no. that was your first go at it, too. Oh, yeah. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. We all pretty much, uh, pretty well started together there. So Even Bo? Bo, had you played with us? Uh, I've played around with a couple bands for a year or two. Uh, played uh, Blue Mountain Tradition, played Bluegrass, nice. and uh, got with uh, Centennial Road Band, played with them a little bit for a year or two. And then one day, Steve was, was sitting around and said, I'd like to play some music. Steve and I go way back. I don't know about 15, 20 years, 20 years. Maybe. We're, we're probably pre-Outlaw yeah. Opry. And uh, we used to play a lot of music together. And it was kind of bluegrass back then. We was more into. And uh, I was over to East Tar Shop there one day. And you got that dough bear with you? And I said, yeah, I do. So we got to playing in his garage there where he's Tar Shop in Jerseyville. And a little more and a little more. And I guess, what's it been, three years now? I'd say right Close at it. To it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So Least I've been so, with him like three years now. He showed up and played a song, we wouldn't let him leave. That's yeah. kind of how that <laughs> how Kind of like Jackie. <laughs> yeah. Kind of like Steve. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think Steve would leave if you told him to. Just, well, I hope not. We ain't figured out if it's the music or the drinking, though. Yeah. We all like both. Right. <laughs> now, now, yeah. did you start off on Dobro or were you playing guitar? No, actually, uh, I started out in, with a uh, guitar, then I couldn't. Uh, I couldn't leave anything alone. And everything that had strings on it, I had to pick it up and try. Couldn't yeah. play it, but I had to pick it up. I messed with mandolin, dobro, banjo, fiddle, upright bass, anything that had strings on it. That's, that's what it was. And I had a... Uh, what was that one lady's name in Grafton and wore that G-string? <laughs> oh, that was my grandma. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Her name is Mary. Okay. Yeah, it was Mary. Was grandma Mary. Mary, Mary Jane. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I think she was down there to loading ramp. That's where she was at. Yeah. So, so let me ask you this: You're talking about anything with strings you play. I tried to. Play. Oh, oh, you try to, to play, and and that that's the that's the word that interested me is try to play because. Uh, so are you saying like uh, fiddle? Did nobody, you never took any lessons on fiddle. No, fiddle, I could not stand it. I, I, I just oh, couldn't. Uh, in uh, any uh, bowed instrument. Uh, no. Because I can't. I, I have trouble with those. Yeah. I mean, if you put enough rosin on there, you can squeak a couple notes out, but then you just got to re-rosin that bow, you know. <laughs> and, and, and I thought, I want to, I mean, most people I meet that, that do bowed instruments, they've been taught how to do it properly. And I thought, if you just know how to do that, we got to, we should go out and bowl or something. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, the mandolin and the fiddle is uh, basically the, the same. same. Yeah, it's the same, the same nothing, yeah. but it's all together different. You pick that bow up. I mean, it is. Yeah. It's That's, all in the back part of it. You use a bow, John, every once in a while? Nope, no, no, no. I pretty well fake it. I've been faking it for 15 years. That's exactly where I'm at, John. Yeah. Yeah. That's what we're all yeah, I'm not about very good. It's just uh, oh, I fake it, you know. So. Yeah. You, you, you seem like the, uh, a smart guy, and, and, and oh, smart yeah. guys yeah. surround themselves with, with, uh, with better musicians than themselves. Yeah, that's exactly <laughs> To make right. themselves look good. <laughs> Keep this a secret, Pink, Ben. Don't let, them, don't let these guys know that. Oh, uh, yeah, well, you know. I so, just want to no. say, John also gave me one of his personal business cards. Oh, yeah. I had a little hard on it. So, <laughs> so you know, the, yeah. hand, the tall, the tall handsome cowboy. cowboy. Yeah, the tall, handsome some cowboy, huh? So what yeah. got you started on the upright bass, though? Do what? And why'd you start playing upright bass? Oh, because I couldn't play the guitar. Okay. <laughs> I was lousy on the guitar. So. And the same thing happens in punk rock. I get it. the way it's, most it's bass it's players are. Uh, like, like Steve said, you know, you got up there and, and you get there and nobody's singing. So uh, Steve's, yeah. I'll do it the same way. I got there and you got all these guitars out there. I thought, we need a bass. Yeah. So that's took up the bass so i would think you went with electric bass because those stand-up bases are hard well, to carry there's no show in yeah. an electric bass right. <laughs> now you gotta be the I tall handsome one, cowboy yeah. and show up with a small instrument <laughs> right gotta now, be the biggest one in the box yeah now i know oh, it, oh. <laughs> i've heard oh. it. if you're playing bluegrass it's not a good thing to plug in with an electric bass so you know having the stand-up bass makes you a little more traditional bluegrass yeah, yeah. well we're we're showing them. 
Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we plug in. We're not traditional anything. <laughs> right. Oh. It, it, does your uh, stand-up base have a pickup in it? Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. I, I, yeah. I, I yeah. assume so, otherwise you're strapping a mic to the bridge or something. Yeah. To, right. All, all of our instruments are acoustic instruments with pickups with in pickups. them. Yeah. yeah. Everything we got is acoustic, and we got pickups in them. And, yeah. yeah. My, my uh, wife's current favorite band is Billy Strings, and they're... Oh, they're yeah, we just heard them on the way down here. Uh, well, California just, sober, so uh, they say. It, it, she's, uh, she, she says, oh, I'm obsessed. And I did the same thing with the Grateful Dead. I followed them around, so she, we follow them, you know. Every, every time she says, will you take me you know, to New York to see Billy? I know she's got tickets already. You wouldn't ask me. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, we've been... And we've of course been, you say, yes, and, dear. Oh, yeah. What? Yeah, I, what? I'm not going to go see live music. Come on, <laughs> that would just be a goofy answer right there. <laughs> but no, I, yeah, I, I do love me some bluegrass, and and uh, I, oh, uh, I almost said Doc Watson, but uh, I love uh, Doc. Uh, yeah, yeah. No, it's the the, fa the family band. Oh, I'm I'm, I'm Del McCurry. Oh, absolutely. Oh, oh, man, Very his good. him and his good. kids and them. Oh mm -hmm. my gosh. Uh, just right. love to see those guys too. I've seen them at uh, Lewis and Clark actually. Yeah, I, I had I had the way hall. I've seen. Yeah. I saw those. I was yeah. there at those shows. Man, amazing yeah. shows. We don't want to forget about one of our members here that's kind of uh, had to bow out a little bit because he works his dog. Oh yeah, dog, dog came in. Harmonica player. Harmonica yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I know. And he sets in with his. Uh, yeah, when he gets a chance. When he can. I jammed with him somewhere. I'm trying. He to... works a weird schedule, so when he comes out, he usually just shows up, has harp in his pocket. Yeah. You know, funny hey. story about dog. He sucks. He there's blows. A, and he plays the harmonica. <laughs> <laughs> That's a hat trick. <laughs> <laughs> he is the man. That's almost a velvet hat trick. <laughs> I knew there were drummer jokes, but I had no idea there were heart jokes. Uh, yeah. do, do you know dog? Uh, yeah, I know a lot of dogs. I, 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 when they said that, I was like, man, it's a harmonica player. I've jammed with him somewhere. I was picturing at the clubhouse when we used to jam down. I, I'm trying Maybe. to figure, trying to put a face to it, though. He is a, uh, he's a hardcore blues man. He yeah. loves to play the blues. And then he come one night and sat in with a country band. And he's like, well, this ain't so bad. And then he saw our gig schedule, and he said, you're your working band? <laughs> <laughs> and I said, yeah, dog. And he said, okay. And he, he didn't leave either until the uh, work tied him down. Yeah, he, yeah. he played with us several years. Oh, yeah. He just played a couple weeks ago. We played, uh, it was a private party I think he showed up at. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> that's intriguing. Maybe yeah. you see intriguing all I took this morning. <laughs> <laughs> I'm feeling intrigued. <laughs> All right, so if you're just joining us, we're talking to the Outlaw Opry. They're going to be part of the uh, Grafton Country Music Festival. They'll be playing Saturday night at Grafton Pub from 7 to 11. And uh, we'll get into uh, what's going on also this weekend. Uh, if you want to now pick in, yeah. including uh, what's going on up there in Grafton. And speaking of fiddle players, uh, it's Aaron Joe's night. Yeah, Aaron Joe the, Palfoot. Uh, Absolutely. At the conservatory. So uh, she has her own night. It's like every certain Friday of each month. and uh, First Friday. It's going to be the first Friday. Yeah, she gets the first and Coolerverse gets the last. Okay. And several in between, including a hideous well, gentleman. Those in between. Yeah. yeah, those are the good ones. So, yeah, Aaron Joe <laughs> Paddlefoot, 8.30 to 12.30 at the Conservatory on Friday night. They always have the pianos raging at the Cajun. Yeah. And uh, Whiskey Dixon going to be at uh, Fast Eddie's on Friday night from 7.30 to 11.30. Here's a country band. Probably oh, yeah. sold this out again. Boots, Beers, and Borderline. That's yeah, the line dance yeah. event. Last time uh, they've, they've been... They They've did. been selling these ones out uh, several in a row now. So Yeah, so that could be sold out. But that's happening at the uh, VFW. Those uh, guys are a lot of fun to see. Absolutely. Uh, good times, good times. Dooley Pianos out at Baker's and Hale from 7 to 11. And let's see, the Phil Collins Experience. <laughs> 8 o'clock at the Wild E Theater in Edwardsville. Yeah. I got to see the Furious Bongos last weekend, and that oh, was man. absolutely. Did you see that? I, was that Sunday? That was Sunday. Man, I, I, I mm -hmm. can't believe that I, I spaced on that one. I was, uh, not was that how? So it was. Just go ahead and tell hey, me how bad it, or how much I screwed up. I'm gonna say that's the best thirty-five bucks I've spent in a long, long time. That was Wackerman. A, that's pretty cheap. Yeah, he Chad was uh, <sighs> seven years with uh, Frank Zappa, Chad oh, Wackerman. Gosh. I looked him directly in the eye the entire show. 
as I was sitting directly in front of his hi-hat about five rows back, and uh, man, what a great show. And I uh, looked him directly in the eye one time, but it wasn't he wasn't on stage. Oh, okay. He, 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 said, he, said, down. he said, don't look at me and don't kiss me on the mouth. <laughs> <laughs> My ex-wife said that, too. <laughs> no, that, yeah, that, uh, I, I really messed up. I heard about that when I messed up. I wanted to see it. But then, anyway, Phil, Con- I remember when you heard about it. We were doing the show, and I mentioned I had tickets, and you were writing it down. As we, I, you just, know, I like, write oh, a lot write of stuff down. down and, and, write that down. And, 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 and the Lord giveth, and the Lord taketh away. That's from uh, Genesis, their first album, which right. Phil Collins was not on. <laughs> right. no. <laughs> so the, Phil, uh, the Phil Collins experience at the Wildy Theater there. Yeah, the American Originals will be uh, around the corner at Big Daddy's from 6 to 9, and they're about to retire, so you better catch them now because there's only yeah. a few gigs left for the American Originals. Andrew Dahl playing at the Chop House on Friday night at 7 o'clock in Edwardsville. Uh, flip side light. They'll be at the Elks <laughs> in Granite City. That's when they break it down to acoustics. That's right? just they just add some water. It's like what they do to Coors Light for I think sure. They do, yeah. Flip side. Well, it's the third less. Uh, what is it? Less than calories. Than, yeah, I remember well, that old commercial. Yeah. And it's less filling. Great taste, right. less filling. I don't remember. There was a big fight over something though. I, I, don't, I don't pay attention to politics. How about Rock and Rascal? Ooh. Oh yeah. Doing the eight o'clock. Yeah. So so the so I don't know if you know, but these guys all show up on those little rascal scooters. And, no, I don't know if that's true. Fake news. Fake news. There's not that much room in Tegan's <laughs> pub to uh, get those things out. Uh, you you got to have a gimmick, right? Absolutely. <laughs> right. So let's get to uh, what's going on up in Grafton now. Part of the uh, some of this is part of the uh, Grafton's Country Music Festival. So we'll kind of wind through it. The first one I got on the list, I don't think was on the flyer, and that's because it's Grafton Winery Brewhouse. And that's uh, Craig Kozat. K- yeah. All right. Uh, but at Third Shoot, which I'm pretty sure Third Shoot's involved, uh, Levi Lloyd from 6 to 10, Midwest. Oh, actually, Dennis, I, I, we'd, I'd like to correct you on okay. that. Okay. Levi uh, got sick, apparently. Oh, bummer. So Steve and Jackie of the Outlaw Opry Band are playing tomorrow night, 6 to 10. <laughs> who, who are they? <laughs> Tell me more about them. I'm interested. I, heard of them. I don't know, but they're not a couple. <laughs> no, they are not married. <laughs> but I heard they hang out with the tall, handsome cowboy. And the Dobro Wizard. <laughs> yes, the Dobro Wizard. Now, yeah. now we've got my attention. <laughs> Wizardry. Yes. <laughs> That's what I would call it. Absolutely. Hold, hold on, I'm going to need five minutes outside before we get into this. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a little more pre-showing to do. And I bet that happens quite often to you guys in Grafton uh, somebody has to cancel they probably call you too yeah. it's because we're easy is that it <laughs> <laughs> oh now Bro. you've got my interest <laughs> <laughs> oh, you said my you say the word free along with that <laughs> wow we got a date bro <laughs> I won't say free, but peaceful. How's that? <laughs> peaceful, easy. Be- peaceful, easy feeling, man. Absolutely. Okay, uh, let's see if I got this one right. Midwest Avenue at the uh, Grafton Pub. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. Yes. Mm-hmm. I don't have anything listed for Aries on Friday night, and that'll take us to Jerseyville again, and John Evans is playing at George's yes. Local Brew in Jerseyville. Mm-hmm. Just Jethro uh, at the Rustic in Warden, 7 o'clock, and uh, Chris Starks. 8 o'clock at H's Bar in Belleville and Sky High, one of Pigpen's bands. 8 o'clock <laughs> at Schmitty's in Belleville. Schmitty's. How about Rooster up at the Rude House, Martin's Lane? All right. 7.30 to 11.30. And we talked about Pro Wrestling Epic. They were on the show talking about their Brownstown show. And that is Friday night at 6.30. So there's your uh, Friday night around the river bend. I didn't, I didn't mention Experience Live Music Real, but that's happening always down there in Yeah. Well, and, and what's happening in Grafton is, similar. is very similar to what Belleville's had going on for about a year and a half now, going Wednesday through Sunday. So I could see Grafton, you know, picking this thing. All they need is the sponsor, like yeah. what they got in Belleville, and somebody willing to put all the work into it. Because yeah. <laughs> it takes a lot. So uh, have you heard about the Experience Live Music Real? Okay, yeah. it's going on. Is that like down like seven Belleville? Yeah, yeah. so yeah, yeah, so it's all the it's kind of like what's going on in Grafton, where all the uh, the venues down there get together and they they run it Wednesday through Sunday every week for 
almost two years now. Yeah. And they, okay, so like, uh, what do we got on this uh, Friday? You got like Trixie Delight uh, trios at Copper Fire. That's going 8 to 11. But 7 to 11, Scott V. Miller's at Lexi's. And then Socialites at Benny's, 6 to 10. They kind of do different times where you can kind of bounce around. The venue's got, you know, someone... Uh, uh, the one you just mentioned. Uh, seven. Yeah, seven. seven. They're, seven. They're, like, all these all these venues are in on it. And, and so uh, they get together, and they have a sponsor. Sponsor, I believe it's Neutral Vodka. Neutral okay. Vodka, And yeah. uh, they help with the advertising for well, all that, the events. I, I, yeah, I was going to say, mean, I don't know I how much they shot. put I'll into it. i try it out. Uh, it's, the it's vodka. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Anytime. Yeah, you wear, man. Like, <laughs> you're talking my language, bro. Uh, but yeah, I, you know, being someone from Grafton, you could see where there's that that same sort of possibility that uh, all you, know, you need is a sponsor to put a little money behind it. Because you know, mm-hmm. in the beginning when this sort of thing takes off, yeah, they're doing it on Wednesday night. How many people are out on Wednesday night? And if you got five venues that are paying bands. You know, it takes, it takes a little startup money to get that sort of thing going. And it, it takes people that are willing to stick with it for a while because you may not see that first initial uh, no. rush of people the well, first night or the second night. And, and and as someone who probably has done some booking of bands and stuff, can you imagine how hard it is to book six or seven venues four nights, five nights a week and keep it fresh? Absolutely. You know, right. and, yeah. and uh, on top of running your day-to-day business because most of the, uh, the, the bookers that I know actually run the business on top of just trying to get some music in there yeah and right yeah, it's, a, yeah, it's a most of them are like loan sharks and then they also do no i don't know i mean <laughs> we'll the ones i know yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah it gets a little competitive too so it's good to see a group of bars getting together and trying to make one music scene yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. We feel absolutely. That, that's good for everybody that's we feel the, that vibe coming from uh, grafton quite a bit and we've said it many times over and over what a resilient place Grafton yeah. is. I mean, how many times is it knocked out with a flood and they just come right back yeah. with the music as soon as they open that's, the door? That's the best part about Grafton. It's on or sometimes in the water. They're yeah. doing a lot in the summer with this music in the park, too. Yeah. Oh, a, lot, yeah. a lot of good bands. And, yeah. and I mean, and we've that. played, like, at the pub, we played one year and the back was flooded. And yeah. we played out in the front, of, out in the front of the building and people sat in the street because it was flooded on both sides. And then they had to like come down the hill by Aries. Is that the one that has the stage out back kind of sticking out? So yeah. I saw I yeah. saw my uh-huh. buddy's uh, hooky play there. Oh, yes. was yeah. Absolutely. And so they were on the stage, but there was water on three sides of the oh, stage. Oh no, that's at the loading dock. No, 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 that's no. no. The this, pub. this is the pub. There was the, all that was flooded out there behind. Oh, them. oh yes, I'm so sorry. And, I missed uh, that yeah, you know they got those big light poles uh, in the parking lot. There, yes. there were big trucks driving, and one of them backed into one of those, and the big globe fell and landed upright like a fishbowl and just floated on down the river. Ah! And, uh, I mean, but yeah, people were yeah, it was that that was crazy. There was yeah. there was water on three sides of the stage, and they were just up there having a good time. Yeah, uh, yeah, that that town. Wow, what a what a great. A great little place. Now, too. if you're heading up to the uh, Country Music Festival on Friday night, you're going to want to make sure and wear your cowboy hat. We got some really nice cowboy hats in the room tonight. Sure. And uh, on Friday night, they're doing the best cowboy hat competition at 9 o'clock at Grafton Pub. Now, I'm sure there's going to be some prizes for a great, the best cowboy hat. Probably. I'm sure there are. I heard uh, Raging I Rivers think, got involved as a sponsor. Right. I think the prize is a cowboy hat. Oh, <laughs> I'm kidding. I don't know. That would be great. <laughs> it's a Stetson. Yeah, could be a really nice. Yeah. Or maybe it's a cowboy. Maybe a cowboy is the prize. <laughs> and also, oh, handsome cowboy. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> also, they're having Coyote Ugly there, so I don't know what the prize is on that either. I think you could win that, though. <laughs> The Coyote Ugly thing is on Saturday. We're going to turn Jackie yeah. on that. Oh, heavens. Oh, yeah. Lordy. We're trying Lord. to clean it up this weekend. We're going <laughs> to take on the best cowboy hat, the best Coyote Ugly dancer. Sure. Oh, you don't have a chance to get the best cowboy hat because now that I know about it, I'm just going straight home and starting to sift through. <laughs> well, you think I don't have a collection? You're wrong. Oh, you got to have, have a good hat. Yeah. yeah. So uh, more events going on on Saturday as well. As you mentioned, the uh, dance competition right at, at the Grafton Harbor. That'll be a fun time. And that's Coyote Ugly, right? That's putting that on, right? So, uh, I think so. And then more stuff. We'll get to it in, in a little while. But uh, 
uh, Outlaw Opry, mainly a cover band. You do uh, other people's music. You got any originals or anything like that? I've been writing music for 20 years, and I've never once played one of them out. Okay. <laughs> well, you know what, though? A lot of times uh, writing music isn't about like showing it off or even, even seeing if anybody likes it. I think a lot of times it's sort of therapeutic. Absolutely. I agree with uh, that 100%. When I, when I first started getting my wife into playing, and one day she came out, we were out in, the, in our jam room, and she stopped. She goes, oh, my gosh, I just realized when you come out here, you're not just hiding from me and the kids. You're hiding from work and bills. And I said, yeah, music's the great escape. Yeah, absolutely. And then one day she we're out, we're playing, and she just couldn't concentrate. She said, oh, I, got, I got things on my mind. I said, this is when you write. You know, if you can't let it go and just play the, the, the songs, then write whatever. And even if you don't think it's a good song, you're going to work through whatever it is you're thinking about, you yeah. know. Uh, I, yeah, I, I, I've never wrote a good song, but I wrote a bunch of them. And, and it, you know, it, at times it's like, oh, okay, I get what I'm thinking about I wrote now. a bunch of mediocre ones. That's well, a... Yeah. <laughs> I, I make myself laugh. Yeah, that's... <laughs> I entertain myself with it, but I'm sure, you know... The rest of the world's like, what's wrong with you? If, if a lot of these bars could handle Wheeler Walker Jr. live, I would be in heaven. But unfortunately, you can't say the F word in country music. And, uh, well, we uh, do a lot, but, uh, <laughs> I, I, yeah, I, uh, you know, we, we were talking about Billy Strings there. That, 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 that kid will do it. And, uh, I, you know, I mean, he's not like, he's not a filthy guy, but I've heard him say it. Uh, maybe it was just to me. <laughs> Get off the blanket stage! <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't know where I was. <laughs> Something tells me Hank said it once. Oh, at least. Uh, guarantee. <laughs> all three of them. Yeah. <laughs> oh, uh, man. I, I know Hank three did. Uh, oh, sure. Over and over and over. Yeah. You know, yeah. Speaking of Hank the Third, there's a uh, there's a great gentleman. Uh, his band, Jake Weber and the Lonesome yeah. oh, yeah, Drifters. Yeah, absolutely. Playing so at the uh, yes. third shoot, I believe, Sunday afternoon. Yeah. I think you are correct. And you know it's kind of off topic for the uh, the country music festival, but his son, Mr. Owen Weber, has a uh, an up and coming local band called Olive. Okay. They just played out at the uh, Milton Schoolhouse right, here okay. a couple weeks ago, and uh, Owen is writing his own music. Uh, I, I think the band is involved with that as well. But uh, some good stuff. Check it out, Owen yeah. Weber and Olive. Nice. Yeah, we mentioned them last week because we had Silver Material on, and they were part of that. Uh, uh, Milton Schoolhouse Halloween party, and I heard it was a major success. So you know, that's what happens I, that's when you come on our show. That's a venue I would love yeah. to go see. I would, I would like to see that. I've yeah. not been there for thirty years. I went to school there in like fourth and fifth grade, and it was a creepy building. That's what makes it, it fun. It, yeah, it was you know? creepy back then. Uh, you know, even as a kid, you're like, I don't want to walk down to the gym by myself. <laughs> it's kind of like that guy with the cowboy hat on at the loading dock. He's like, I don't want to ride. Well, you also creepy, know that but it's fun. You know, the slow janitor's gonna stop you on the way. Yeah. <laughs> that was my dad. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, then custodial engineer. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah, we know he wasn't fast. <laughs> Yeah, we're glad to see the uh, old Milton School doing uh, shows there, and uh, a lot of times it's all original shows. You know, there's not too many all original venues, and uh, we got the conservatory, we yep. got the old Milton School, and all those guys uh, were involved uh, with a house scene at one point. They were yeah. playing in their houses, in their basements. They were actually advertising the shows in the newspaper, which we caught on to and thought, man, if we'd have done that back in the day, the cops were sure to show up. Yeah. When but, we uh, had house parties at their age, you didn't tell anybody till the day of yeah. because you were worried too many people are coming. And, and they were like advertising it in the newspaper, yeah. talking about it on the radio. Yeah, come to my house. It's going to be a good time. But look what it turned into. Now they're booking live, uh, live original music right here in Alton uh, with the conservatory. They've yeah. opened the studio, Lighthouse Sounds, right here yeah. in Alton. So... Uh, yeah, a lot of good stuff. And that, and that music, was out folks. of what, what they called the one house uh, Metal Gears and one the Foxhole. I think the Foxhole ended up turning into a brothel. I might be wrong. Yeah. <laughs> I, I think you may be right. Yeah, I, I, uh, <laughs> I don't know from experience per se. <laughs> it's, it's an unlicensed dance club <laughs> called Lickety Splits. <laughs> So Nowhere But Down will be the original band playing at the conservatory on Saturday night at 8 o'clock. All right. And there's a fiddle player there. Nate Sigmeyer. <laughs> just a, one of just the a things he can do, He's right? an anything player, man. I, I well, you know, we brought up how difficult fiddle was, so I'm on yeah. the fiddle kick. 
I'm yeah. just fiddling around, Pig Ben. <laughs> <laughs> Whiskey Dixon also uh, going to be playing at Fast Eddie's at 7.30. Hookie will be playing at the uh, Owls Club. For the fall Monster. Festival. Oh, yeah. On a Saturday night from 8 until midnight. And uh, here's one of Steve's favorite bands, The Intrusion. 7 Shout to out 11. To yeah. Out at uh, Baker's and Hale in Godfrey. Audio distilled with uh, Blake Fultz out there in Meadowbrook at Blue Stem Vodka from 3 to 6. Champagne Fix down at the Pump House in Wood River starting at 9. And Jim and Carl Mager will be at the uh, Georgia's Local Brew uh-huh. uh, 6 to 9 in See, Jersey. Now they are married. Their their parents were. (laughs) Poor Jim and Carl. I just see. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm not sorry. He's not sorry. Uh, All right. uh, Here we go. Big Pin Grafton Country Music Festival on Saturday. I haven't heard about this. Tell me more. (laughs) Carrie Lee is going to start at noon. Play until mm-hmm. 2 o'clock at third shoot. We got the uh, Mr. and Mrs. Grafton competition from 1 to 2 at Grafton Pub. Mad Haas Jackson, 2 to <laughs> 6, across from Bobby G's. So there must be a spot across from Bobby G's. I think G's. maybe they're building a stage yeah, or they're, they're putting a trailer all, or something. All three of those bars right there kind of got together and decided to book, you know, one band to kind of play the common area in between all the bars. That's yeah, like nice. Grafton Pub, Third Shoot, and Bobby G. Bobby G, yeah. yes, sir. Yeah, okay. Okay. Hit the nail on the head. All right. Country Karaoke pig pen. You can go up there and do that at Third Shoot from 5 until 10. Yeah. I hear the train coming. It's That's my rolling song. Around. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry. It's more like honky tonk, yeah. but donk and donk. <laughs> Mama something tried about, to raise me right now. Something about go. Ride a Cowboy. Or something. (laughs) (laughs) I think I heard him say that a bit ago. Mama, don't let your babies grow up to be cowboys. Is that David Allen Stone? Because he's playing up there. uh... David (laughs) Allen Stone? Wait, is that real? Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. That is awesome. That is is great. He's playing a couple days up there. Heck yeah. yeah, I'm kind of anxious. I'd like to meet the fella. I've I've never heard his music. Never... uh, Never actually heard of him until this weekend, and I'm I'm glad to see the Oyster Bar over there getting some new uh, new name talent in town. Right, he's playing there six to eight, so you're gonna have to get there quick and get back to the pub by seven. Well, that that, we that means it. we'd have to That'd take a break sometime. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> David Allen Coe and Sylvester Stone from Sly and the Family Stone had a love child. Yeah, and his name is David Allen Stone. Awesome. What Poor awesome David. Name. <laughs> yeah. I, I thought he was going to say David Allen Coe for yeah. just a second. I'm like, no way. That's what's happening. That's, yeah, we, we've all, you know. And to wrap up Saturday on this list, because uh, I got more coming from, from the other venues, but Lucy and Sam, they're playing 7 to 10 at Abigail's. I'm not familiar with Abigail's. Oh, Me either. Don't yeah. know that. Abigail's is located inside of the. Uh, Historic Ruble Hotel. Oh, okay. okay. Um, they got a little uh, bar restaurant there on the uh, on the side. It's a beautiful little area, uh, small venue of course, but it's a uh, it's a good time from what I understand. It, nice. is it's it been a long of, time since I've been in there. Is it sort of like in the dining room area? Yeah, yeah it's actually a. I won't say a separate building because it's in the same building, but it's off to the off side. To the side, yeah. Than the hotel. Okay. Yeah. And uh, like I said, they got a nice little stage in there. Uh, it's like the hotel food. lobby area. Or they've had uh, they've had quite a bit of music here lately. They haven't been open very long. I know they've had the uh, the Jonathan Baker duo in there a couple times. Okay. Uh, there's been some other bands. I, I can't recall exactly who, but uh, like I said, good to see another stage pop up in Grafton. Yeah, yeah absolutely. and uh, Bobby G's is another one that I'm not quite familiar with. Just starting to find out. It's a martini bar, from what I understand. It is, it is a martini bar and a headache on a Sunday morning. Oh yeah, it's a good time. <laughs> okay. I will tell you that. Uh, yeah, another another small venue that it's uh, it's really coming up on the uh, the live music scene. Nice. Uh, it's like I said, it's great to see these l- nice little stages pop up and yeah, all definitely. these little bars and restaurants all over. Yeah. And they're going to be down at the uh, harbor to do the uh, Coyote Ugly dance contest at 6 o'clock on Saturday. So, uh, Pig Pen. Aren't you in it? Uh, No, I thought that was going to be at uh, Third Shoot. No, it's at the harbor. Harbor? Okay. Mm -hmm. According to my notes. That's what it said on that line. According to Jackie, so I believe her. Yeah, and I'm the boss. (laughs) She is the boss. I I have to tell myself that. (laughs) Now, also going on, Tanglefoot, you talked about them. They're doing the loading dock from Mm -hmm. 2 to 5. They play there quite often. Yes, absolutely. A bunch of great great guys in that band. 
John was, Evans, who you said is going to play at uh, George's, George's tomorrow. tomorrow. He's he plays in that band. Okay. And you mentioned uh, Halpin Music as your uh, as one of your sponsors. Thank and you. Waylon Schroeder actually is a uh, he's the band teacher in Jerseyville. Okay. And uh, I'm sure he uses Halpins for a lot of the uh, music equipment rentals and different things. But Waylon. I'm sure you guys have heard Jay and Wayland yeah. and the uh, oh, Warehouse yeah. Project. Jay but, was uh, working at Halpin for a while. so uh, yeah. 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 Big shout out to Johnny Hand down there at, uh, at Halpin's. He's, yeah. uh, he's a buddy of mine from way back. Halpin's is the one that I bought my first Dobro in 1978. Boy, that was a long time ago. Wow. Man, man, so I man, first yeah. Did they make Dobros back then? <laughs> you <laughs> well, weren't they born just, yet. They just had two strings. I wasn't even born yet. Right yeah. I think I think Halpin invented the piano. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> <laughs> They've been around that yeah. long. <laughs> Over 50 years. So we appreciate them uh, sponsoring the program along with Matt Van Voorst of uh, Macias Insurance. And I, as I mentioned, he and, likes to... Uh, and Stubblefield. And Stubblefield. And Stubblefield. And Stubblefield. Stubblefield. <laughs> Bam, you got it. He likes to uh, give his advertising away. What a cool thing for Matt to do. Mm. So uh, Matt V, he's a heck of a man. Yeah. yeah. And, and a great insurance guy, you know. Yeah. Uh, and, and just... And he's not a selfish lover. I've said it before. I'll say it again. He's, <laughs> he's the guy you call at 1230 after you just left the Grafton Country Festival and you hit the deer. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he, he's the kind of guy, if you call him at 1230 and he was like, man, I'm drunk. I don't want to drive. He'd be like, I'll send my wife. Hey, yeah. Julie, wake up. <laughs> wake up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, also going on in Grafton on Saturday, I was John's band, 3 to 7, at the Grafton Winery Brew House and uh, at the pub there, along with Outlaw Opry from 7 to 11, Dakota Daniel playing the, the porn 11, star? 11 a.m. Oh, to 1 p.m. I think it's Dakota Daniel. Daniel. Yeah, oh, right. yeah. See, he said Daniel. I'm he like, that's Daniel. a porn he star. I got to get it in. Daniel. I got to get in it fast because he's ready to jump on everything. So he's just kind of spit it out really fast. <laughs> So, so I you think you had that movie? No. No, I did not say that. <laughs> Dakota Danielle, 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. Thank you, Jackie. Denver Wade Trent, yes. noon to 3, and then left-handed cowboy 3 to 7 at Aries Resort in Grafton. And uh, here's a Stubblefield guy. Yeah. Matt Tall. He could yeah. be at the bucket. Yeah. With Phil, I believe. Yes. yes. Uh, from 8 to 11 at the Bloody Bucket Saloon. and uh, there's Phil, Dave. who also works at Halpin. Phil Waits. Phil. Yeah. There you go. I didn't know what he was jumping in to say. Again. It's hard telling. I got to make sure he's serious. <laughs> Never serious. Just just for fun again, let's say David Allen Stone is playing six to eight at Oyster Bar. <laughs> I, heard that, I heard that's Sylvester Stone's son. Oh. He never even called me by my name. Right. <laughs> Stone, there you go. Yeah, don't call David Darling. <laughs> Uh, Come on now, hold on, hold, hold on. Wasn't that wrote by by uh, a good old boy from Illinois, old Steve Goodman? Steve Goodman. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh yep. man. Yep. Yeah. He wrote that Cub song too. One of my favorites. Yeah. Somebody else's troubles. That's probably one of my favorites by him. Good yeah. Team. Him and old Johnny Prine. Also what else going we got? on. Uh, let's finish up Saturday. Yeah. Lenny and Julie at the uh, Foundry Public Julie. House. Public oh. House. Well, yeah, two to five. And uh, Sweet Bottom, six to nine at Big Daddy's. <laughs> Sweet well, Bottom, sweet six bottom. to nine at Big Daddy's. <laughs> sweet Bottom at Big Daddy's. That's, that's <laughs> right. It's, 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 <laughs> it's, 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 it writes itself. It's a play on words. <laughs> Uh, the Salty Dogs doing their Special Olympic Benefit. Money Shot playing that. 9 o'clock at the Legion in Edwardsville. They raise money every year for Special Olympics. Uh, Bobby Rollins at Lyle's Tavern yeah. from 7 to 10 in Maryville. Uh, let's see. A tribute to the music of Bobby Darren with Eric Sykes will be taking place at Al Fresco Art Center in Granite City at 7.30. Nice. Not too many Bobby Darren tributes out there, but this guy does one, Eric Sykes. The Fleetwood family at uh, Patrick's in Granite City at 9.30. Oh, man, they're good. Awesome. Mm -hmm. That's a good one. Southside Bluesy Boys down at Teagan's at 7 o'clock in Granite. And Cherry Bomb out at the uh, Prairie Inn in Dorsey, 3 to 7 on Saturday. Of course, the Experience Live Music Row. And, uh, you know, I keep bringing up this H's bar in Belleville because I see original bands playing there. And we always like to mention the venues that support original music. Tough thing to do. That's why we bring it up. Uh, yeah. Not There's so many good songs out there, it's hard to convince somebody you also wrote one. Right. <laughs> yeah. Nine Left Dead, Secondhand Sin, and Send the Message at Ages right. in uh, 
in Belleville. Flipside doing the Legion and Kane on Saturday for play up in uh, Rude House at Martin's Lanes and our friend Silver Material playing nice. H7, our other friends. Yep. Zeta Field and Revelations at uh, Shamrock in uh, St. Louis. So that's all <laughs> taking place on uh, Saturday along with the uh, con- Country Music Festival where they're also having 9 to 1 eating to the oldies at Eaten Bobby G's. to the oldies. I'll take a 9 a.m. martini with my breakfast. How's that sound? It, it, it sounds, yeah, I don't know, I, it sounded almost cannibalistic at first. That's what I just told you. Yeah, it's <laughs> eat, eat, eating the oldies. Yeah. yeah. But then it's also got that sweating with the oldies kind of ready. You know what that tastes like, don't you? Uh, it depends. Uh, it depends. <laughs> uh, so the country music yeah, continues on cool. Saturday or on Sunday as well, well, right? With Back in the Saddle at Aries, 1 to 5. Wolves of Lust to Grafton Pub, 2 to 6. And there's Jake Weber and the Lonesome Drifters. Yeah. Doing third shoot and Grafton. Let's say it one more time, Pigpen. David Allen Stone. From <laughs> 3 to 5 at the Oyster Bar. Right? It tickles my fancy. <laughs> Scott and Michelle tickle my fancy. They'll be out at the uh, Prairie Inn and Dorsey. Two of the nicest people in the world right there. So there you go. The Grafton uh-huh. Country Music Festival. The Outlaw Opry has been on the show tonight. And uh, thank you guys for coming in. We've been looking forward to meeting you for a long time. And we thought you guys were just too big. You know, we're like, we'll never get them on the show. I lost some weight. I tried to get in shape for this interview. A couple of years ago, they couldn't fit in here. They were too big. But uh, but thanks to sweating with the oldies, <laughs> Richard Simmons. <laughs> and, uh, and then he put out sweating with the oldies too. Like we were all waiting. Like we, you know, like it just left us we one had ten more. more pounds to go. Right. Yeah. The I best. Had one more video. I didn't think anybody noticed. <laughs> The best place to find stuff about you guys is on Facebook, I would imagine. Yeah. Yes, uh, sir. Facebook is our outlet to the world. Okay. <laughs> and uh, you guys are almost every weekend somewhere, right? Yeah. It sure seems like it. At least part of you guys or <laughs> yeah. all of you guys. I don't know right? how I have time to work. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how people find time for a job. Yeah, I mean, There's, there's all these other things reason. going on. <laughs> and uh, <sighs> it looks like cash is playing out quite a bit for, yeah. A, yeah. for a 16-year-old. Right, right. Yeah, he's liking it. So yeah, we'll have to get sixteen. So he's the kid in black. Yeah, yeah. Right. And Cash has some original songs, and I've been and to. He I've been to does them. Yeah. yeah, and I've been to a couple of his gigs here recently, and he has his own little. I mean, he has lots of fans, but he'll have like a special table that'll have like maybe some of his closest friends, and it's so cute because he'll be doing a song that he wrote, and all of his friends sing along, uh-huh. and you can tell he's played it in front of him enough that it's like. Becoming popular with them, so it's really cool. Yeah, there's, there's, really no, cool. there's no her involved here, is there? What? Well, a lot no. of great songs are born from a, uh, a her. Oh, I don't know. Well, he has, uh, yeah, he's 16. Yeah. Yeah. There's many hers. There's many yeah. hers. It's called a harem. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny you mention that, Jackie, because last week our guest, Silver Material, Pigpen said the thing he was most impressed with when he seen them was how they had a core of fans that would sing along with their songs. Man. Yeah, that and, is very important to an original artist. Yeah. Right. Oh. It's, it, and also, it was impressive because they ranged from Bo's age to to teenagers. What are you saying about Bo? I'm, I'm, saying, saying, what, what, I'm what, saying he's got to be he's got to be at least fifty here. <laughs> I was going to say he is. Hey, he is. Yeah. No, that that was it was a wide age group of people singing along to their original song. He's going to ship me right here. <laughs> 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 oh, he, oh, actually, he's writing out his he number is, with a heart. We, we took his ankle bracelet off before we left Jerseyville. Nobody's supposed to know he's here. <laughs> yeah. We don't use his real name. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yes, there you go. He, he's he is, he is he, over 50. He, he's a, he's a, a very young man. Yeah. <laughs> Now, in all honesty, what I meant by what, what I all I was pointing out when he said that is that I pointed out to them they had they had a wide range of people singing along to their songs, which is yeah. a tough thing for an original local mm-hmm. band to uh, to accomplish. Yeah. You know, uh, so good for good for cash. Yeah. I know a guy that plays uh, dobro. Curtis Lowe. Curtis Lowe Curtis plays Lowe. a dobro. Curtis yeah. Lowe. 
Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> sure he did. was the finest picker yeah. to ever play the blues. Well, until Bo come along. Well, well I actually wrote that song with talking. Drunken Wind one night in The, 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 the Dobro Wizard right there. Heck yep. yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we do Curtis Slow off and on. Yeah. yeah. Well, Steve that kind of rewrote it. It's, kind of, it's pretty neat. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. So there you go, Outlaw Opry. What other kind of stuff can we hear from Outlaw Opry? You know, that's all over the board then, if you guys do Leonard Skinner and Bluegrass and what else? Well, un- unfortunately, we all kind of have the ADHD and we can't pay attention for too long. Right. So, so we don't have a set list. Right. So we just go into the evening and we got, you know, the first song, my first song and her first song are scripted every week. We okay. know exactly what they're going to be and that's just to warm our fingers up. From there, it's just what the crowd wants to hear. I was going to say, nice. take requests and yeah, that kind absolutely. of Absolutely. That's our, our kind of staple. At least mine, anyway. Play some Streisand! <laughs> Wayne Newton's a No. <laughs> oh, yeah. Dude. Hey, Wayne Newton's cool. Mm-hmm. Jackie, can you yodel like uh, Ruby Lee sure. does? I mean, that it's was something. Really my thing. That was I something mean, to I, see I, on the voice, though. It was really cool. I've never really tried it, so I don't know, but it's yeah. not really my thing. Yeah, yeah. Oh, come on. I'm man. sure she could do it. She's uh, way uh, too uh, modest. Are you, are you, you're not a fan of the band? Because Levon Helm could yodel. Well, I mean, I like it. I like the sound of it. I'm just, it's, you know, it's not something I've ever tried, so. Okay. Well, I, I think it's. I think it's high time you okay. you get out there and and yodel, man. Yodel yeah. out. Check out yeah. this Saturday night. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. I'll yodel. Yeah. Yeah. Junior Rogers song here. There Last go. blue yodel. <laughs> uh, Seven right. to eleven. Grafton Pub is where the Outlaw Opry be, but you need to get up there all weekend long because a lot of good times happening in Grafton this weekend, especially if you're a fan of country music. And uh, Pigpen, we're going to do more country music next week because we're going to talk to the Glendale Riders. So, uh, actually, actually, Uh-oh. Dang no, uh, uh, Benzman stopped by yesterday, oh, no. and, and and which one, uh, Mr. Jeffrey Benzman? Right, we we prefer Mercedes, but. <laughs> yeah, he he uh, he stopped by and said uh, something came up. They will not be able oh, to do it. No. We will be talking to uh, Rogers and Neenhouse who got their. Oh, okay. uh, they uh, yeah. they announced a second show. They sold out the one awesome. show at the Wildy. They got a second show with some tickets available. Thirtieth anniversary. So, uh, uh, yeah, awesome. That sounds yeah. great. So there you go. That's what's that's what's actually happening. However, I think Jeff the week, just the week after that we'll be back to some country with Whis- Whiskey Dixon. Okay, so there you go. I think Jeff. Or Whiskey just, River. I'm sorry. Jeff I knows who our read. favorite band is. I think the truth is Jeff knows who our favorite band is because we said it on air. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, right? who's the best Benson? Well, the best Benzman is the guy the young, that, Donnie Benzman. I know. Well, yeah, it's like asking the best Van Zant, bro. Come on, I mean, man. You know, it's hard I was to pick. jump out and say Jared myself. Well, you could do that. Uh, from Subway? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, when he was still a thing, he got canceled. <laughs> yeah, that, that, guy's, that guy's weird. <laughs> but you got to say, on an average, like, he didn't molest, like, very many of the kids he came across. Like, it was a small number, but, I mean, still a lot overall, you know. Uh, oh, yeah. There you go. So. I'm just saying, don't eat Subway. Don't it was only know. six an inch. <laughs> Where does meat in town? Anyway, all right. <laughs> so, so, uh, What's salty lettuce? <laughs> that is some shiny meat you're putting on my sandwich. <laughs> all right. So, all right. Thanks to Outlaw Opry for uh, tolerating me and, and letting letting Dennis, the uh, the journalist, interview you while no. I sat over here and, and made advances at you. Thank you guys <laughs> for uh, promoting the live music. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Not so much us, but... But thanks for yeah. promoting everybody else. Yeah. You We're know the, what? Uh, the worst band that has the most fun. <laughs> this this the, our our area has a pop in music, and we we had a uh, Mark Quinn uh, from St. Louis over years ago uh, plays El Monstero, Joe Dirt, all these big, and he heard us reading off these gigs, and he's like. What? There's not that much stuff going on in St. Louis, you know. And, 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 <laughs> yeah. But there, you know, we really got our, our great music scene going on down, you know, all the way down the river here. Yep. So, uh, uh, big thanks to uh, everybody who participates in it, and the Hoppers who supplied us with instruments. But you know, mm-hmm. House of Music had no, and Halpin and Music mm-hmm. who supplied us with all our other instruments. The Sound Spot, man, I miss it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, anyway, uh, uh, yeah, thanks to our sponsors, Matt Van Voorhis. Thanks to Halpin Music for 10 years of, of sponsoring this jackassery. And a uh, big thanks to Outlaw Opry. Everybody, get out and support local music and art. 